Do you keep on procrastinating on writing your thesis or your research papers? Do you keep on postponing it? Is writing always kind of the last thing that you want to do and you keep on avoiding it? And as a result, you know, you've been working on your um, thesis chapter or on your paper for months and you're still not progressing. If that's the case, then you'll really enjoy this video because I'm going to give you the three tools that will help you to completely get rid of procrastination. It's going to work for writing, but if you've got procrastination in other areas of your life, it's really going to work perfectly for those other areas of your life as well. Now, procrastination is probably one of the most common problems that I've seen with the PhD students and the researchers that reach out to us for help at Academic English Now, where we help researchers and PhD students regularly publish papers in top journals. You find it really difficult to, you know, sit down regularly on a daily basis for extended periods of time and write. A lot of you are amazing at research, you know, you love being in the lab, you know. Um, some people also like read the literature, you know, some, if you're a researcher you have to give classes, there are also other responsibilities. But writing always seems to be a problem. People are stuck with writing and then they develop this sort of fear or phobia of writing and then they just like postpone it and postpone it and procrastinate on it. You know, sometimes we get PhD students in the third year of the PhD and they've hardly written anything. Because like for the first two years they've been thinking, yeah, I still have time and it, like the writing has been just postponed, postponed and postponed. Sometimes researchers come to us and they, they've been working on the research paper for months. But really, you know, when we ask them like, how often do you write? They don't really write daily, you know, because there's all sorts of other stuff going on in their life. But really, they're avoiding writing, they're procrastinating on writing. So if that's your situation as well, I want to show you the three main reasons why you're procrastinating and how to tackle these. So really, you know, not just in writing, you know, this is going to work for other areas of your life, but like the three main reasons why we procrastinate is fear of failure. And then number two, lack of plan. And then number three, lack of self-discipline to focus on the difficult thing and actually do it. So let, let me break it all down for you so that it makes sense and so that you understand how you can apply it to your writing to stop procrastinating and start publishing papers regularly. The first reason why people procrastinate is the fear of failure, right? So what very often happens is that we live in this world where like you constantly see videos on Instagram and everywhere else on social media of people succeeding. You know, you've got colleagues in your lab, you've got your supervisor who are succeeding, they're publishing papers and it's very difficult to understand that you know all these people they have failed numerous times before they've succeeded i mean it's easy to understand it on a conceptual level but nevertheless we are still afraid to fail when we're writing we are afraid to make a mistake you know we are afraid to mess up and to produce a mediocre paper we are afraid that the paper will be completely illogical and so on and as a result we're not taking action at all because we are afraid we are afraid of that failure so the first thing that you have to accept is that failure is normal you know failure is just like the part of life in any aspect of life in writing papers as well as soon as you accept it that failure is okay it's much easier to move forward another analogy that you want to adopt is think about a baby a baby learning to walk. A baby learning to walk falls down all the time. A baby doesn't procrastinate on learning to walk. A baby isn't afraid of failure. A baby just tries to walk, falls down, bumps her head, but just continues until magically she starts walking and running and playing football and all that kind of stuff, right? And it's not magically because it's just like the baby has been doing it for a very long time and practicing it. But the most important thing about the baby is that, you know, a baby has no concept of fear of failure. The baby just like instinctively tries to walk and just learns it without the fear. That's kind of what you want to do as well. Accept that failure is just a part of life and that you will fail numerous times. I have failed numerous times. Most of my clients have failed numerous times before we all succeeded, right? So accept that as a first step and you'll be one step closer to writing daily and killing your procrastination. Now, the second reason why a lot of us procrastinate is that we don't have a plan, right? There is no clear goal and there is no clear plan of action. This is a problem because, 
if you don't know what you're working towards, or even if you do, but you don't have any sort of plan of getting there, then taking actions becomes almost impossible. Or you're gonna be taking the wrong actions, or you're just not gonna take any actions because you don't know what to do. So it's much easier not to do anything or do something else that you're good at, right? Like being in the lab, which you're probably amazing at, right? So what you need to do is to set a clear goal. For example, I'm going to finish the first draft of my paper in the next eight weeks. That's a clear, smart goal. And then you wanna work backwards from that goal to identify what needs to happen for you to be able to fulfill that goal. You know, for example, maybe you still need to um, read the literature in order to finish writing the literature review, right? And you need to learn how to structure the paper, right? So you want to write those like intermediate goals as well to fulfill your overall goal, and then break down each of these goals into specific exact actions that you can take on a daily basis that will allow you to achieve your final goal. And then you wanna put those specific actions on your schedule daily, right? That's, that's the key. You know, if you have clarity on daily actions and you know that those daily actions will get you one step closer to the goal, it's so much easier to, to take those actions and it's so much more difficult to procrastinate, you know, because every time you take the action, you know that you're just one step closer to the goal and you don't have to panic, worry, feel overwhelmed because you have a clear plan that you've developed. And by the way, if you want help developing that clear plan for yourself so that you can publish more research papers, then definitely schedule a free one-to-one -one consultation with my team where we're gonna go over your challenges, clarify your goals, and give you action steps that you should take in order to achieve your goals. So number two to stop procrastination is having that clear goal and clear plan. The third reason why you are probably procrastinating on your writing is lack of self-discipline. And I'm not gonna sugarcoat it because th there's no other way of saying it. It's just lack of self-discipline. So you've probably found yourself many times where you've, you've sat down to write, and I've been there as well, so I'm not blaming you. I've been there as well. You sit down to write and you try, but it's really difficult. So our brain hates difficult things. Our brain likes easy things and dopamine shots. So it's really difficult, so you're kind of like, I'll check my email and then you check your email and then you're sucked into the email for like half an hour and then you come back to the paper and you're like do you know what I only have 15 minutes left I might as well go to the lab now you you start writing the paper it's, it's really difficult you try but then your phone buzzes you pick up your phone and there's your friend messaging you on whatsapp and then all of a sudden like without realizing you're on Instagram scrolling through and then an hour has passed and you haven't written anything. Why does this happen? It's a lack of self-discipline. And self-discipline isn't like a magic quality that people are born with. Nobody is born, you know, like a, a Buddhist monk who is incredibly self-disciplined. It's a skill that you can develop through life, through basically daily practice, you know? And what you can do in order to develop it is to, first of all, just cut down all distractions. So the best way to be focused and disciplined is to have no distractions. Like in a perfect world, in a, in a world where I would have zero distractions, I would be 100% productive. Because, you know, the, the definition of self-discipline is basically, you know, being 100% focused on the task on a daily basis, right? Why aren't we focused on the task on a daily basis? Well, because we are distracted by all that other stuff. So if we remove all that other stuff that is distracting you, social media, email, meetings, you know, all that kind of stuff, then being self-disciplined doesn't take any effort anymore, right? It's so difficult for you to be self-disciplined because you're so distracted by so many of the other things. So you have to cut them out, right? How do you do that? Well, just to give you a simple tip, delete all your social media apps on your phone, including YouTube. Just delete all of that because it's distracting you. If you can't bring yourself to deleting it, then just get rid of all notifications on your phone and on your computer. I have zero notifications on my phone and on my computer. The only notification that I get is when somebody calls me because it's impossible to get rid of that notification. I tried, but it, I can't get rid of it, right? So do that and your phone will stop buzzing, right? Never check your email. 
right? And if you can't at the beginning have the discipline not to check your email, well, what you should do as well is just work in a place where there is no internet. What I would do very often on a weekly basis when I had to write my PhD, I would go into a quiet spot in the park and work on my laptop because there was no internet in the park. You know, so the only thing I could do is just write. Like there was nothing else I could do, right? And I just, I had this one quiet spot where I knew like nobody was around and it had a nice table. There were no distractions and I would just write there. So in order to tackle procrastination and start writing research papers daily, there are basically three things. You've got to accept that failure is okay and you will fail numerous times before you succeed. Remember that baby learning to walk. The baby has no fear of falling down, no fear of failure. There is no, the concept of failure doesn't exist for the baby, right? And you've got to be the same with writing the research paper, right? So that's the first thing. Now, the second thing, you've got to have a clear goal and a clear plan with clear daily actions that will take you one step closer to that overall goal. It'll be so much easier to carry out those actions on a daily basis when they are planned and you know that each action is taking you towards your goal. And the third thing is lack of self-discipline. And the best way to develop self-discipline is just to cut out all distractions because then self-discipline becomes the default choice. You don't have to fight to be disciplined. It just comes naturally because there are fewer or no distractions. Now, this is very easy to say and perhaps comprehend on a logical level, but if you to actually implement it in practice and to actually tackle procrastination, you really need a coach. And I'm not saying it to try to sell you or offer you any service, but really from what I've seen, with people who have struggled with procrastination, it's very, very difficult to overcome it on your own, especially if you've been procrastinating on your writing for a very long time. So if you need help with that and you want to publish research papers on a regular basis, and we're talking about three research papers at least in Q1 Scopus Index Journals a year, then definitely schedule a free one-to-one -one consultation with my team. The link is right below this video. We're gonna go over your real challenge with procrastination and outline a plan, an action plan that you can follow and then if it sounds like it's a good fit we can outline how we could work together in order to help you to write more and publish in better journals.